bought this locker because of that right there. Well, this is the biggest storage unit facility that I have ever been to. Texas. This is the home of many big things. Texas, like, seems like everything is bigger. Well, this is the biggest storage unit facility that I have ever been to. And the reason why I like this one is because I saw a safe, an abandoned safe. So today we're gonna see what's inside of an abandoned storage locker, but even better, what's inside of an abandoned safe inside of a storage locker. Let's go check it out. So this is what we did here. We rented a pickup truck so that we can haul some stuff out of here. I brought some muscle today. Look at this guy standing at six foot, whatever you are. Five, six foot whatever, six. something with giant muscles and a curl bar. This should be able to get us in there. This is my friend Jake. You've seen a lot of videos we've done with him in the past. Friend from high school, friend growing up, and now he lives in our small town, so we get to do a lot of fun stuff together. This is it, number 3207. We've got the crowbar. I bought this locker because of that right there. There's a safe right there, and I wanna know what's inside of this abandoned safe. In Texas, there's a lot of guns, so my guess is, and kind of my hope is, there's some guns inside of there, maybe some cash, maybe some jewelry. I've never seen anything like it because it doesn't have like your, your knobs on it. It's just kind of these little keys that you put it in turn. There's the safe. All right, that's gonna take some work. It is still the weirdest thing going through people's stuff. I'm just gonna start right here, but let's see what's inside this guy. I'm hoping that some of these keys line up. Nope, <laughs> those are like circular keys. Here's some artwork. Has somebody already opened it and looked at it? It's like the Ten Commandments. Basically got the Ten Commandments <laughs> on stones. This is worth a lot of money because the Bible and the Ten Commandments happened a long time ago. This is the find of the millennium. <laughs> this is kind of a cool book right here. The United States Air Force. I did hear jets flying by. This one says key. That's promising. Very nice, Will. Some clothes. Goodwill or trash? Is it really goodwill or trash? Or is it just to fake us out and get us off their scent? Nope, it's really goodwill and trash. This one's trash too. This one says trash on it. Trash. Why do you label everything trash? Maybe they took the good stuff out. There's nothing inside of that. There's nothing inside of that coin box. It's trash. Clothes, nail polish remover. This one's not labeled it, but I'm gonna say it. Trash. <laughs> not the greatest find so far. Don't worry. We'll find the diamond in the rough. This one's heavy. Feels like a bunch of books. Books, books DVDs, fancy, fancy. Looks like a dollar. That is a one dollar coin, my friends. This unit is not completely a loss. We got a bunch of plates inside of here. Study guide, books, entirely full of hangers. I've never seen somebody with so many sandals in my life. Sometimes you wonder why they've abandoned things. This one makes a lot of sense. Goodwill or trash on that one. Just take it to Goodwill or trash. All I bought this thing for is the safe. Not feeling ultra optimistic after seeing all the rest of the stuff in here, but I paid $600 for this storage locker. And so far, I've got a few quarters and a dollar. That doesn't even pay for the gas that it took to drive from our hotel to here. I kind of want to see if we can just pry it open right here. Yeah, we need a sledgehammer. What do you think, Jake? Back up the safe. So I just stood the safe up and apparently that's all it took was to flip it over a couple of times and it looks like it's kind of opening now. Oh yeah. Get it man. Pull it open. Let's see what's inside of there. Oh Ooh, trash. You got some 22 shells. Trash. Let's see what this paper is. Is it Bitcoin numbers? It's an antler beer license from 1990. Trash. Protective IV. Catheter. This is from a catheter. Trash. A lithium battery. Trash. Another catheter. Trash. Magazine from a gun. Trash. 12 gauge shotgun bullet. Trash. Good job, kids. We did it. This is what's inside of an abandoned safe inside of a storage locker. Trash. We got skunk. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This one, I think we lost. $600, the intrigue of the safe did not pay off. I know there wasn't that many good things inside of it, but if you look down here, we have this cut lock and that cut lock, and we have this on it. So one thing that they do is they open it up, they take a picture of it, they lock it with one of these guys. This is not the one that was on it when we bought it. She took the one with her. 
I think it was pink. It was like a different color. It looks to me like this storage locker, somebody did the same thing that we did. They bought it, they went through, but they took all the good stuff. There was probably guns inside of that safe. They got inside of it, got the good stuff, got the other good things, and then they just left it all here. So they put it up for auction for another month. I think that's what happened. I think we've been had. I think somebody else bought this storage locker. This one was a loss, but the good thing is we didn't just buy one here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. There's one other one. It does have a safe and it has a gun case inside of it and it looks very promising. So stay tuned for the next episode of uh, what's inside an abandoned storage locker and an abandoned safe. Hopefully it pays out better than this. Duck, a weird duck. There's a duck. Check and see what we got. Okay, no, let's. <laughs>